All right, Dr. Feldman. Um, my first question is, what makes SCP-4199 unique from uh, some of the other antipsychotics available to treat uh, bipolar disorder patients with depression? So thank you for the question. Um, uh, embedded in your question, you asked, you know, the other antipsychotics that are used to treat uh, patients with bipolar depression. And, and I think that's the most important um, point to make right up front. Most uh, antipsychotics that are used to treat bipolar depression were developed as antipsychotics. Uh, and so to actually identify the correct dose for each of the patients that are suffering during their depressive episode, um, it takes uh, some uh, clinical work to actually go and identify that. In contrast, 4199, SEP 4199, was actually engineered to be an antidepressant that we can use in the bipolar depressed patient population. So we engineered it right up front, not as an antipsychotic, but as a medicine that would be uh, beneficial for people suffering from bipolar depression. Okay. Now, um, I guess kind of speaking broadly, what are some of the challenges in treating this specific patient population? So the specific patient population of bipolar depressed patients, um, uh, in as much as they're treated with antipsychotics, they actually suffer from some of the side effects associated with the D2 class of agents, the dopamine blockade, which are really uh, driving the efficacy from the uh, antipsychotic class. So um, things like akathisia and other D2-related adverse events really um, have a significant impact uh, in terms of those patients. In contrast, CEP4199 was optimized and engineered to actually have the pharmacology of its serotonin 5-HT7 pharmacology be the predominant um, driver of pharmacology and then just a little bit of the D2. So we've been able to engineer it to actually go and treat uh, the symptoms of bipolar depression while not carrying along some of the uh, D2 related adverse event profile. So it's similar in a way to that schizophrenia drug we spoke about, which tried to kind of remove the side effects and the adverse events as best you possibly can. Yeah, so, so earlier this year, Synovian um, actually uh, released a, a New England Journal of Medicine article where we focused on both the efficacy for a breakthrough therapy drug in schizophrenia, uh, looking at its efficacy on positive and negative symptoms, as well as um, trying to now reduce the overall side effect profile uh, of that drug. For CEP4199, we similarly have focused on the patient. I think that's the most important point, is that we really are focusing on the unmet needs with respect to these broad patient populations so that we can actually go and, and demonstrate um, efficacy on the, in this case, the, the, the Montgomery Asberg depression rating scale um, for efficacy in depression while actually going and, and changing that overall risk benefit profile and reducing the side effect burden of the currently used antipsychotic class. Okay. And now, um, because there's so many comorbidities with um, psych patients, what is um, kind of the, the target patient with this specific drug, whether it's pediatrics, um, adult patients, if there's uh, certain comorbidities where this drug would be particularly more effective or less effective where it wouldn't be prescribed? Hmm. So thank you for the question. So, so CEP4199 um, was studied in a broad population from 18 to 65 years of age, and it was studied across the globe from Japan to uh, Eastern Europe, including the United States. So we really believe that it will be applicable to a broad population of patients and as I spoke about earlier, the pharmacology that we've engineered allows us to, we believe, treat the persistent depressive symptoms, which are really um, a hallmark of those refractory patients. Um, greater than half of the patients uh, in, in bipolar depression actually have um, very refractory depressive moods and mood episodes. And so by now, 
increasing that pharmacology um, that's really an antidepressant signature around the serotonin 5-HD7, it allows us to go and treat uh, and preserve those mood uh, stabilizing effects. 